My name is Tori, and I'm currently traveling solo in this self-converted Ram Pro Master with my sweet dog, Haley. As an East Coast girl, I've been missing all the beautiful fall colors back home. So this week, we're setting off up north towards Flagstaff to chase the fall colors of Arizona. And boy, was I surprised with what I found. So lace up those hiking boots and don't forget to subscribe to join Haley and I as we continue exploring Arizona and Utah over the next few months. Good morning everybody from the West Fork Trailhead in Oak Creek in the Sedona area. It is currently 5.45 a.m. And we are doing some hiking today. So I heard that to have the best hiking experience in Sedona, you need to start really early. So I dragged my butt out of bed at 4.30 and we made our way here, only to find out that the trailhead doesn't even open until 8 o'clock. So we will be the very first ones here, but I'm kind of just pulled over waiting until I can get inside. It's a very chilly day today, so I'm hoping maybe there won't be as many people. The high is supposed to be like 45, I think. But Haley and I are going to have a little adventure and then we're going to go back to our campsite and have a little solo night, just her and I. I've been doing a lot of caravanning, meeting up with people, and I'm ready for a quiet evening home alone. We have a seven mile trek ahead of us and then I'm not really sure what we'll get up to for the rest of the day. There is a fee to get into this parking lot, so I figure we'll do as many of the things in there as we can to get our money's worth. But I'm really excited to bring you guys along. This hike is supposed to have some really beautiful fall colors and I'm very excited. Alrighty guys, upon further investigation, the trail the booth isn't open till 8, but they had a self-pay station. So it's about 6.30 now and we're headed on to the trail. Hopefully to beat the crowds a little bit. <sighs> it's really beautiful here this morning. I did see a couple of other people go in, so I'm assuming it's okay. Haley is so excited this morning. She was crying the whole time we were sitting in the car. She wanted out so bad. Alrighty. We will be hiking along the river there. You can actually continue hiking through the river to camp over there, which is super neat. But we will just be here for the day. And we've got seven miles ahead of us. She is so ready. You're so ready. I picked this particular hike because I heard it had beautiful fall colors and as an East Coast girl I have really been missing the beautiful colors of fall and so far I'm not disappointed. It's so cozy and cold out today too. This feels like the perfect fall hike. How cool. Guys, the sun is starting to hit the very top of the rocks up here, and it is so yellow. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, wow. This is why I love sunrise hikes. The colors are just so cool. so pretty for our fall hike in your fall outfit. You match the trees.
Oh, enough for you. <laughs> I've got a little caffeinated cliff bar to keep me energized for our walk back. This hike is incredible, you guys. Incredible. I had no idea what to expect. It surpassed all of my expectations. The colors of the leaves changing against the beautiful red stone is just... I feel like it's something you can't really see anywhere else. There was a lot of river crossings. Highly recommend shoes with good ankle support as well as waterproof. I wouldn't say this is a strenuous hike, but I wouldn't say that it's easy either. There is some spots um, with some technical footing and some of the rocks can get a bit slick in the water. So just be cautious and be prepared if you are ever planning on doing this hike, which I recommend that you do if you are ever in this area in the fall. I had no idea that Sedona had fall colors. Oh, we love fall so much. And while I'm well aware that getting up at 4.30 in the morning to start a hike is not for everyone, I will say the overall experience on the trail is so much more peaceful um, because this is a very heavily trafficked area. And I read on my All Trails app that this is a very, very busy trail, especially this time of year. So if you can manage to drag yourself out of bed a little earlier than usual, it will make for an all around more peaceful experience. <laughs> what a great spot to eat breakfast, I'll be. Yeah. She already ate hers. All right, I finished up my snacks. This is an out and back trail. So Haley and I are going to enjoy our walk back. And we will see you guys again at the van. Ready? Let's go. All righty, we made it back to the van. All safe and sound. Van is still here. The parking lot is full, like full. So we are going to head out so that other people can come and enjoy that beautiful hike. Definitely worth the money, but also definitely worth coming early. My poor nose is so cold. It's about 9.45 now, so it took us about a little over three hours and it was absolutely stunning. We saw people about every two minutes on the way back. Didn't see a single person on our way out, so I am very, very glad that I started early this morning. See, I got lots of compliments in my pretty bandana. cold out here today I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so I'm planning on having a super cozy evening probably mostly inside the van this evening because we have another super early start to continue chasing fall colors up in Flagstaff tomorrow morning I'll be taking you guys with me up to Locket Meadow to see the aspen trees and then doing a little bit of exploring in Flagstaff it's one of my favorite cities that I've traveled to so far, so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. But for now, I'm settling in for a super cozy evening because I'm a little exhausted. Not gonna lie. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. From a Locket Meadow. All right, what's the trail that we're doing called? Inner Basin. Inner Basin Loop. We're at Locket Meadow today, hoping to see some aspen trees. I'm with my friends Brandon and Amber, who live in Phoenix, and we are out for an adventure today in Flagstaff. I'm always like waiting for Mr. Tumnus to walk around the corner. Yeah, it's like I think we'll take that off. No. No. <laughs> It's very icy. I was not expecting these views, but this is stunning. The aspects are beautiful. And I will see you back in the van. <laughs> One hand, come on, where are you? You showed me how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do it? Do it like this. No, I like hold it exactly like that. I meant hold it like that. Hold it like a you man. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> hold it like a man. <laughs> like, like. 